Extremely dangerous. That's how the National Hurricane Center is describing Hurricane Dorian today. It's now a major category three storm packing 115 mile per hour winds and posing a significant threat to Florida and the northwestern Bahamas. Right now, the eye of the storm is east of the Bahamas. This is a live look at South Beach near Miami. This is the quiet before the storm. Hurricane Dorian is expected to make landfall in Florida early next week, and the storm is expected to be even stronger than it is today. But exactly where Dorian will hit isn't clear. Concern about Dorian's potential impact on Florida's Atlantic coast is why Boise State's football season opener against Florida State, originally scheduled for tomorrow night in Jacksonville, has been moved further west to Tallahassee, and kickoff is now scheduled for 10 a.m. Mountain Time. Jay Tust and Brian Holmes are in Tallahassee right now, gearing up for tomorrow's game. We know these changes affected your travel plans, guys. What are you hearing from Bronco Nation? <laughs> Yeah, the Boise State fan base is obviously headed down here. We do have some good news, though, and that's the fact that the Boise State football team has arrived here in Tallahassee. Bus is still parked out in front of the Doubletree uh, right behind us here. Yeah, those buses rolled in today. This wasn't their first stop, obviously. They had to stop yep. off in Jacksonville and then made their way here today. As we recap the last few hours, go ahead and check out some video of their arrival. How about this? A police escort in the downtown Tallahassee. But yes, the football team stayed in Jacksonville last night. They woke up and they practiced at Bartram Trail High School in St. Augustine. That's actually the alma mater of redshirt freshman quarterback Riley Smith. However, that practice was impacted by weather. There was a lightning delay right at the beginning, so that was a reason why they were actually about an hour behind schedule getting in to Tallahassee this afternoon. So the weather does not stop in what affecting their travels, but this is something for Florida State having to move everything from Jacksonville over to here. It's something that they've kind of been preparing for. Yeah. Just in, I think each time in the last three years, they've had a game that's been affected by weather. So the question has always been, all right, so you sold those tickets, about 45,000 tickets they mm -hmm. sold in Jacksonville for this game. They had to refund all of those and then sell more tickets all over again. So we checked in with the ticket office at Florida State, and this is something, as I mentioned, they've done something like this, but never exactly like this, having to put together a whole game in just a couple of days. It's an impressive undertaking that they've done in just a short amount of time. Stop in at the Florida State Ticket Office for a quick conversation with Jack Chatham. Out in the general admission area. The ticket operations manager. Two season ticket holders. And you'll see he's a busy man. Yeah, we're going to fight that all day. That's because he and the rest of his staff are in unfamiliar territory, having to get ready for a football game in 48 hours. So let's see, we're at 27.5. Nice. So, um, people are persistent. The fans have also been persistent. In just a little over 24 hours, they've sold nearly 28,000 tickets to Saturday's now home opener against Boise State. Part of the reason for the hot ticket has been the price. While most regular season games in Dope Campbell Stadium go for an average of about $40 a piece, seats on Saturday will only be 10 bucks, a pretty good bargain in any college stadium. Absolutely here, yeah, but on two days notice, it's GA seating, um, you know, I think it's a good deal. I think people are going to like this. They're going to get a chance to see the team play uh, and sit in some seats maybe they've never had an opportunity to sit in because it's GA. So get her early, get the best seat. As for Bronco fans looking to sit together to make the most noise, look for Section 117, an area in the southeast corner. That will be cordoned off just for the blue and orange. So I suspect the Boise State folks will kind of group themselves down in that southeast corner. You could sit in that southeast corner, or if you want to, you could sit on the Branch home out. side <laughs> and the 50-yard line. You just got to get in early to do that. Gates are going to open at 10 a.m. The kickoff is at noon. And one other thing to, worth noting for anybody that you know is here, coming this way for the game, there will be no beer and wine sales inside of the stadium. They were going to do that for the mm. first time this season for their first home opener, which wasn't this game. So people were clear, curious about that. So, no, they will not be doing that this game. Ah, bummer. Nah. Ah, shoot. Well, Bronco um, fans are used to that, though. You know what? I have had a couple people reach out on social media, too. I think they're worried about whether or not Bronco fans that traveled will get a ticket. As you mentioned in, in the feature you just did right there, there's going to be plenty of room at this game. It's not The stadium's not even close to being half no. full, and we're about 18 hours from kickoff. So if you made the trip down to, ja uh, to Tallahassee, well, Jacksonville, to Tallahassee from Boise, you're going to be good to go in terms of being able to watch this football game tomorrow. And one more note that I want to add, saw Coach Harson getting off the bus, kind of gave me one of those looks like, what are you going to do? Yeah, I mean, exactly. everything they've had to battle getting down here, 
I know one thing. The Broncos will be excited come kickoff tomorrow because that's when all the worries, all the distractions go out the window, and we get to watch, and they get to play some football. And that's familiar territory for them, yes. other than having to deal with travel arrangements and all that kind of yes. stuff. So, yeah, we're all excited about it. <laughs> we are. Everyone's excited to watch, finally, watch that season opener. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in just a little while. Tune in tomorrow morning at 9 for the Bronco Roundup Game Day Show live from Tallahassee on KTVB Channel 7, KTVB.com, and the KTVB mobile app. Game time is set for 10 o'clock on ESPN News. Channel numbers are listed in our game day guide at KTVB.com. Make sure to stay connected to what's happening with the Broncos in Florida with our game day guide. To get a direct link, text BSU to 208-205-9785. Message and data rates may apply. Just check with your wireless provider for details. Again, that number is 208-205-9785.